<laughs> All right, Brady. See, you just be cool and follow me. But Fred, this is dumb. Just dumb, dumb, dumb. Good afternoon, gentlemen. May I help you? Why, well, sure, lady, but I think you better put some clothes on before you get arrested. <laughs> Sir, I'm over here. Oh, oh, I see. You could see a lot better if you took off those glasses. Oh, no, you see, I'm an airline pilot, and I got to protect my eyes. Now, aren't you a little old for that kind of thing? Are you kidding? Up there in the wild blue yonder, I'm known as the Gray Eagle. And this is my co-pilot. That's, that's right. I'm known as the Brown Pigeon. Well, fine. What can I do for you two birds? Well, if you don't mind, lady, we'd like to browse around just a little bit. Fine. When you're ready, Louise will help you. Oh, did you hear that, Grady? Louise. Yeah, but she's, she's kind of young, Fred. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I can't seem to make up my mind, Louise. Uh, sir, what would be your reaction to this <clears throat> wool dress? Oh, a rash under my armpits. <laughs> I bet you did. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Can I help you? Yes, darling. Uh, my name is Lindbergh. <laughs> and this is my friend Lamont. Sir, did you say Lamont? I know a Lamont. You do? Yes, in fact, you look a little bit like him yourself. Hey, he's really handsome. Oh, well, thank you, honey. <laughs> well, 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 I don't think so. I, I don't think Lamont. No! <laughs> Is this something that I could show you here? Sure, honey. You see, we want to buy a present for a girl. In fact, this girl is very much like you. And she's about your age. She's about, uh, about, uh... Well, I'm 18. Yeah, 18. <laughs> okay, I see. Maybe a dress would be nice. Something like this. Now, this comes in silk, satin, jersey, oh, crepe. Which, which one would you prefer? Personally, I just love crepe. Oh, Fred, she would be perfect, because you got a whole house full of crepe. <laughs> kind of cute, and, and, and I like you. You know, you may be just all right. Okay, well, thank you very much, sir. Hey, you know, I just can't get over how much you look like the Lamont that I know. Maybe you'll get to meet him. He should be in here any minute. A Lamont? Here? Yes. Well, nice meeting you, miss. Let's okay. go. <laughs> uh, hello, son. Uh, nice meeting you here. I mean, Pops, it's a small world, ain't it, Grady? Oh, uh, what are you and Grady doing here? Uh, would you believe that Grady uh, needed a new bra? Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I didn't think you would. Son and Pop, oh, I get it now. Uh, listen, son, I'm sorry. I just couldn't help it. But see, I, I wanted to know, know her, and I wanted to meet her, so if she, if she had any possibilities. And I like her. You do? Well, I think that's great. Did you hear that, honey? Hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, you take your hands off him, lady. What's the matter with you, Pop? I, th I thought you said you liked Grace. Yeah. Grace? Grace Alexander, Mr. Sanford. I named the shop after my daughter, Louise. <laughs> that grown-up lady there is your daughter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, excuse me for a moment, Grace. Let me talk to you for a Pop. Son, you got to be crazy. That woman must be 10 years older than you are. Look, now, I want you to listen and listen carefully because I'm only going to say this one time. Now, Grace might be older than I am, but she's mature and intelligent, and she's more a woman than I've ever known in my life, and I happen to be in love with her. Now, I'm thinking about marrying her, and if I do, I'm going to have to leave home. Now, do I make myself perfectly clear? You marry her and leave home? Make it clear? Oh, Elizabeth, did you hear him? Oh, honey, he's going to leave home. Mike get married. I'm coming to join you to discuss this. Oh, honey. <laughs>